Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to use and set up your Sensiview Pro software. First things first, you're going to need to set up communication with your transmitter. All you have to do for this is select the serial port and baud rate for your device and hit connect. In my case, the serial port doesn't seem to be showing. If that's the case, make sure the USB is plugged in correctly and press refresh. Once it shows up, you can try connecting again. To make sure you're receiving input once you've connected to the device, select Config Device Info. Once there, enter in your Modbus ID and press Read. If you aren't sure what your Modbus ID is, you can click Scan Available IDs. Once it's done scanning, you should know what your Modbus ID is. The factory default Modbus is 247, but yours might be different. As you can see here, mine is 245. If you want, you can change the Modbus ID to any number you like. So I'm going to change mine to the default 247. To do that, you're going to go back to config and hit device ID. From here, you can enter in your Modbus ID where it says device ID. Now, before you do anything else, click read to verify that you're on the correct transmitter. Once the program displays your serial number, you can enter in your new Modbus ID where it says new device ID and then click write. It should then ask you for a password, in which case the default is zero. After a moment, you should get a message that says read successful and your Modbus ID will be updated. Now you can go back to the device info tab and click read and all your info should display. Another one of the things you can do is configure the transmitter settings. From the main window, select Config Device Config. Enter in the appropriate Modbus ID and click Read. Once you've done this, all the current transmitter settings should appear. You can change them as you like and when you're done you can click Write. It'll then ask you for a password, which will again be zero. You can also save your settings to a configuration file, and then open them later by choosing the file that you created. Okay, now let's take a look at the important stuff, reading temperature. From the main window, select view, and go to digital view. Here you can monitor the channel temperature of your transmitter, as well as a variety of other parameters. To start reading temperature from your device, you're going to select the Modbus ID from the scroll box and the channel that you want to monitor. Then when you're done, hit the start button. At first, the program doesn't display a ton of options. You can see the temperature, the min and max temp, the change in temp, and on the side you can change the units of measurement. However, if you right click the screen and hit display settings, you get a lot more options to configure. For instance, you can display the standard deviation, the decay time, the LED current, the light level, the status indicator. There are actually a lot more features here. To get these features to show up, all you have to do is simply check the boxes that you want to display and then all the data will show up on the display screen. You can also record and graph the data if you exit out of the digital view and go to graph and record view. Here you're going to do the same thing you did when setting up the digital view by setting the channel and device ID. Then if you want to record the data, you just select the record radio button and then hit the record button. To log the data in a graph, select the graph radio button and choose the Y axis you want the data to be graphed in. You also have the option to set up two graphs for simultaneous data plotting. You may also notice on the bottom right side of the screen, there's a little spinner that says sample interval. This can be adjusted to control the time in milliseconds between reads of all the configured channels and can be changed at any time during graphing. When you're ready to begin, you can hit start graph one. Like the digital view, at first there isn't a ton of settings being displayed, but if you right click and press statistics settings, you get the rest of the features. 
Just like on the digital view, I can choose to display standard deviation, decay time, LED current, light level, all on the graph statistics. All of these settings here can also be set up from the graph record settings window by selecting file and then hitting graph record settings. This allows you to prepare the settings before starting. Any changes you make here will immediately update in any open graphs. If you don't want to set up the graph settings from scratch every time you run a sense of view, you can save your work by hitting File, Save. This will cause the same settings to always be loaded on startup. If you want to save the settings but don't want them to be loaded every time on startup, you can just click Save As and then click Load in the future. And that about wraps up this video. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.